But what's really interesting about Alibaba is that, well, it's come from $319 all the way down to close to $60. That's uh, over these last three years. And you can see this huge downside move. And the Chinese market has gotten annihilated. I want you to see on the bottom, there are cycle brackets. And do not confuse cycle brackets with actual cycles. They are just simply a drawing tool and a guide for us to see where we see repeating patterns in the market. And then how the cycles actually resolve themselves is actually up here on the price chart. And you can see how that there's key important troughs in, in areas. These lines that you see right over there are showing where the actual troughs came, the actual lows. And this is where the ideal would have been. And that's normally three, three four bars on either side uh, of where the ideal. And you can see how that works out here. Now, I'm just going to look at these last three cycles right over here so you can get an idea where we are. Now, China, as I said, is trying to stimulate their economy because they have huge problems in the real estate market. They have big problems in the stock market, which has really moved down. I'll show you FXI in a moment, just on the weekly chart, so you get an idea. This is really what's significant. You can see these rhythms on these big charts. Remember that when the when these energies are rising, as you see right here in the stock, the peaks could be anywhere in the cycle. And just because a cycle is coming uh, down or just because it's rising, you see right over here, it's still rising, but see the stock was falling. This doesn't mean it's going to continue to rise. What we do is get information out of the actual price action to help us and momentum conditions that you could see right in here have turned down. And this is the Aslim reversal scout that we have here. This is a level four uh, indicator right there. And uh, if you want our free indicator for momentum, that would be the Slim Ribbon. And uh, you can get that. It's on many platforms. So the uh, when it turns up, as you could see right over here, you get into those positive patterns as it did right over here. And guess what? It didn't turn up here. But we have this engulfing pattern that occurred. In other words, it made a lower low and it's closing above. So it's actually engulfing two different weekly bars right there. And that tells us that, you know, it's very likely that a bottom is forming right over here. With all the money that's being pumped by China, it's pretty likely that that's going to happen. I have a note here to remind me momentum is negative. So we're anticipating that this is a bottom. And anticipating is okay. And if you're a trader, we always say anticipate with a quarter or a third of a position. You're not going to get into a full position. You're going to want to do that when you have some confirmation in the pattern. So uh, you can see these two lines right over here. They tell us that somewhere plus, uh, either side of that ideal low, and there are one, two, three minor cycles that are very clear, as you could see right in here. Once they trough in here and then move up, you uh, start to get bigger upside moves. And as you see, it happened over here, it really began to accelerate. A couple of weeks, it moved up a little bit and then turned up very sharply. Of course, this move right over here was from 60 to 120. That was a double just in the first part of this cycle right over here. This one over here was uh, from around 77 to around 102. So that was uh, about a, uh, what was that, 45% move? So you, this could be a big move in here. I mean, 50% uh, from 67 takes you all the way up into the 90s. And you see the resistance there at 90, approximately 89. So this is the beginning, likely, of a move. Let's look at the daily chart right over here. And the daily chart has a little shift in it. And this is we have a lot of we have a lot of people that ask us about this. They see this ghosted out cycle right over here. That was where it was actually making the bottoms. You could see where those troughs came and lined up. But this cycle went pretty long, as you can see. So it creates a shift. And then we put these dotted cycles in there because they help us understand where that shift is. And you see, as you go back, it doesn't make that much difference, right? But there's been an energetic shift, and that often comes when there's a lot of selling and a washout happening. And you can see now, just look at these last few cycles right over here. This is now moving up, and this resistance uh, over here is at 77. This is at 80. And this one at the 78.6 is at 83. So this is likely to move up and then move down and set up a good buy, but not get below this low here at 67. 
So this is a very good pattern in here. As far as seeing a bottom coming, you could see on the bottom the slim ribbon PO. You see how red it was in those down arrows telling you expect momentum resumptions as it did. It just turned blue right over here. We want it to turn green. We want the slim ribbon to go green and in positive configuration as our first sign that there's actually a momentum shift going on. I'm going to switch over now to the weekly FXI, just so that you could see that the energies in China are changing also. Here's that big decline in China as it comes down from 54 right over here all the way down to 20. So that was about a 60-something percent loss in China. And look at the cyclical patterns and how they line up, as you could see, the negative momentum that we still have. But still, look what happened here where you had that engulfing pattern way back over here, and that is it in October of 22, and how that was the signal, and then the momentum turned up, and then you knew we were off to the races on the upside. The momentum here has not turned up yet. So again, we'll be looking for momentum to turn up in China, and specifically on the daily chart first, and then we will know. But right now you have a setup right here of a bottom that is forming. We call this in the bottoming phase of Alibaba. And that means if you are interested in it, you nibble. You just get a toe in there and that will keep it on the radar for you. And if it's wrong and it goes to lower lows, you don't get hurt by very much. If you start to get confirmations and you add on, then you can really start to hit good size trades without taking big risk.